research. Uh, today, uh, we'll be discussing pharmacovigilant audit and inspection. Uh, so, uh, firstly, we'll discuss what is an audit and next we'll discuss what is an inspection because uh, we have observed uh, that a lot of students uh, get really confused difference between audit and inspection. So firstly, we'll see what is a pharmacovigilance audit and inspection, and they are both important. So why are they are done? So in terms of pharmacovigilance, for, uh, and it's related to drug safety, so it's an important activity in the field of drug safety, but they have served different purpose and are conducted by different entities. So they are done uh, by two different bodies. And uh, we'll see uh, more about that in the next slide. So the first, uh, uh, first and foremost, we'll discuss what is a pharmacovigilance audit. So uh, to why it is done to assess the pharmacovigilance system and proce process within the pharmaceutical companies, a contract research organization, or any organization involved in the development, manufacturing, or distribution of medicinal product. Focus is on internal process system to ensure compliance with pharmaceutical guidelines and regulation. And now we'll discuss what is a pharmaceutical inspection. It is conducted by regulatory authorities to verify compliance with pharmacovigilance regulations and guidelines. It comprehensive and involves the assessment of documentation and data related to the safety and efficacy of specific medicinal product. So the key, uh, element of this video is that that the audit is done by the pharmaceutical company or CRO, whoever is contracted, and the inspection is done by the regulatory authority, that is the government of that country. Now, uh, we'll see the entity conducting the activity. Audits are conducted by pharmaceutical company itself or by a third-party audit firm hired by the company. Auditor assess the company's own pharmaceutical pharmacy, uh, vigilance activities. Inspections are conducted by regulatory authorities. Government agencies have the authority to inspect the operation of pharmaceutical companies, CROs, and other organizations to ensure they are compliant with the pharmacovigilance regulation. Now, what they do, what kind of assessment is done in both these activities? So first is the focus is on internal pharmacovigilance system. Focus is on the internal pharmacovigilance system and processes including case processing, signal detection, risk management and quality management system. The goal is to identify and rectify any deficiencies in these process to ensure regulatory compliance and patient safety. Pharmacovigilance inspection cover a broad range of activities and documentation. So regulatory inspectors review a company's pharmaceutical pharmacovigilance system. It complies with the regulations and may also assess the safety and efficacy data for a specific medicinal product. They can result in inform, enforcement action if significant non-compliance is identified. So pharmaceutical inspection is something very serious and if you are not compliant, they can take very, very strict actions. Now the outcome. So what is an outcome of a pharmacovigilance audit and a pharmacovigilance inspection? Uh, in an audit, an audit report that is used by the company to make improvement in its pharmacovigilance system it may or may not be shared with the regulatory authority depending on the specific circumstances. Now, in case of a pharmacovigilance inspection, the outcome of an inspection is by a regulatory authority can lead to various regulatory actions, including warning letters, fines, suspension of marketing authorization, or others measures to ensure compliance with pharmacovigilance regulation. 
it is more formal and potentially legal binding process. So in summary, pharmacovigilance audits are internal assessment aimed to improving the company's pharmacovigilance system, while pharmacovigilance inspection are external assessment conducted by regulatory authorities to ensure compliance with the regulation and protect public health. Both are essential for the safe use of medicinal products. We have our aim is the safe use of medicinal product and these are procedures, these are steps so that we can ensure these activities. Uh, thank you for listening and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. 90% uh, of our viewers still aren't subscribers and we are enforcing it on the, all our viewers to make it a point, uh, take a minute and subscribe. And also like us on Facebook, we post jobs opening, informative articles, and these videos all are available on our Facebook chat, uh, page. So do check it out as well. For diploma course or webinar related queries, you can visit our website that is www.finenessinstitute.com or email at admin at .com. Thank you again for listening and have a great day. See you again in another such informative video.